Remembering the life and legacy of former First Lady Barbara Bush as America mourns her death at the age of 92. The matriarch of a Republican political dynasty was known for straight talk, her snow white hair, those signature pearls, and her sharp wit. Barbara Bush and George Bush had a very wonderful way of making sure that everybody felt special. They had an amazing capacity for love. She wanted to be known as um, a wife, a mother and a grandmother, but she's so much. She's so much more, and I think you see that today. That the it is wonderful to see in today's day and age. Everyone lifting up the memory of Barbara Bush and a right. life of such great consequence. And Joining us now is Doug Weed. He is presidential historian and former senior White House staffer for President George H. W. Bush. I know you also wrote a book about mothers of presidents. Um, and, you know, we heard uh, George W. Bush saying this morning that he learned a lot by being surrounded by strong women his whole life, that he had, you know, a very strong mother, a strong wife, and now he has strong daughters. <laughs> what do you think, what do you think she teaches us as mothers from your observation? Wow, great question, Melissa. She uh, Definitely the, the power of a mother. Most of these presidents are mama's boys. And I remember one day, Melissa, in the White House, it was 1989, and I went into the Oval Office uh, to see the president, and Barbara was there. She turned around, she looked at me, and she said, you tell George not to run. We don't want him to run. He was thinking about running for governor of Texas in 1990. He didn't do it till 1994. But she didn't want it and that later became public and she told reporters let's face it Jeb is like his father George is too much like me well if I had done my study by then I could have told her Mrs. Bush George is going to be the president it's the mama's boy that's the president if he's like you he, he's on track to be president not Jeb so I think a, woman, a mother can have great yeah. power and influence she she did. You either have to say she's one of the greatest women who ever lived or she's lucky because there's two presidents, uh, two governors, and uh, a husband and a son as president. It's amazing. I mean, it is really interesting because she sort of redefines or re redefines what it means to be a feminist icon. You know, in this day, you think of somebody who's out front, who's the CEO, but she shaped a ton of lives and was very forceful and achieved a lot for women and for you know humans in our country um, but she's the one who says you know I never I never got a paycheck right Right, Melissa, it's a good point. If there was a Mount Rushmore of first ladies, she would go on it, but not as a Hillary Clinton or an Eleanor Roosevelt, because one was a UN ambassador, one was Secretary of State, it would not be her resume, it would be the impact she had on others. But uh, I can't think of another person who's had a greater impact. Who, for example, there's no first lady who's ever had a son who was elected governor. She's had two of them and uh, two presidents. And what Many people don't know, it's at one point they were grooming Neil Bush to run for governor of Colorado too. So she's had a tremendous impact as a woman. So if you're a woman born when she was born, mm -hmm. limited by the limitations she had, how can you make a difference? Well, I don't think you could do much more than what she did. And as a role model for anyone, male or female, who wants to be of service, you know, two of her characteristics that really stuck out to the end was her, you know, her humility and her selflessness. In every story that you've heard people tell today and yesterday, that really comes through how she put others first and how although she was so strong um, and outspoken, she was also very humble. Would you agree? I would agree with that. And there's one thing, Melissa, that's been missing in the conversations mm -hmm. today. She was forgiving. She knew how to forgive herself when they fade, failed to tell George about uh, leukemia and Robin. And she forgave me. There, there are people in public life who put me on a black list and were all upset uh, with me. And Barbara Bush reached out when she turned 90 years old. She told A&E when they did, redid her biography, they said, I want Doug Weed to do the uh, historical commentary on it. So so she knew how to forgive others and forgive herself. She kept things light. Her mother, yeah. Pauline, was tight, controlling, bitter, according to Barbara's own story. Barbara's revenge was, I'm going to have fun. Life should be fun. Wow.
Great memory. Doug Weed, thank you so much. Thank you, Melissa.